morning everyone right today what i'll be doing is i have some doll's eyes but obviously they are way too big uh, for the doll as you can see now i this i've got these two eyes which are two different colors <laughs> which is about right for me they're slightly too big if i cut the middles out and put that in the back that would be perfect so i'm going to have to make my own and i'm going to use these to make the mold and i've got here it's amazing mold putty so with this i'm going to make those a mold for those and then i've got for doing the glazing on the eye this glaze I've got this resin, which is quite dusty, not been out for a while. And it's crystal resin. So I'll have to make a batch of that up when I'm doing the eye. So, today, the first one I'll be doing is make the mould for these eyes, then make the eyes from clay, use the resin, colour them and use the resin for that. So that's that. The other thing what I, I might do, I could do, I've, I watched it online last night, that it can be done to alter these. So I could take this section of the head out, cut the eye out, make the new eyes to go in and glue them in, and then put that section back on. And I may have to do that. So, <coughs> excuse me. See, I normally buy these dolls that have already got the eyes and the face done. But I wanted to try it myself and uh, it might not work like that. And then when I put this back in, then obviously I can then do the hair. So what I'm going to do is I'll do that later on and I will film me doing everything there. I mean, I, I love her, absolutely love her. But do you remember, I did, let me just move that out of the way. I did make... not the hair that's the hair I want I did make these ruffles and I still want to use them so what I'm going to do I'm going to use this on here which is even though I've got that on that side I still I want to do that and I still want to add Where's the, sorry, I'm, I know my head's in the way. And I still want to add this as well. You know, which is part of the outfit. And I still think that will look fantastic. These have to be coloured, of course. Uh, yeah, but I do want to do that. And, and that was one of the main things. I wanted it to look quite princessy. Uh, the other thing is, I have somewhere some, I'm sure I've got them here. Let me just see. When her hair's done, I have some crowns. Yeah, there they are. Hang on, because me, ha oh. Me have, oh, there they are, I think. Yeah, there's one. I've got a crown with, this is the one I'm after. It's got red in it, and I thought, well, you know, it's kind of like a... Look, so what I want to do eventually is to add the crown in. And I'm going to keep... I've got another one. I just want to get them out because... I might... Here it is. I don't want to make a mistake. So I've got that one as well that I could use. I don't know. We'll see. I've got others, but they're the main ones. So, yeah. Let's put that back in there a minute. So, we're going to do that today. I'm going to do make the eyes. Um, I think I will take off the head and then cut this out and then be able to glue the eyes in. And then put the collar on. Colour the collar. Uh, put that on. Um, and then I want to colour this part of the dress. Uh, I think I'll just, what I'm going to do is, uh, because she's a fairy, she's like garden fairy, do you know what I mean? It's, uh, I don't know, I've just got this, 
I might do a top green. I don't know yet, we'll see. But I'm liking what we've done so far. And I'm glad you like it. People have made some really nice comments. And the hair's going to look absolute. I mean, look at the hair. It's going to look fan dabby, in it? Makes all the difference. So that's that. Now, I've got a kit here that I'm going to share with you. Um, I've, I've got a couple of them, but they're both the same roughly, apart from these bits. So, um, I've gone through all my bits and pieces. I'm going through boxes and trays and, and drawers and things like that. Because I've got stuff that have just sat, sat and sat for sometimes two or three years. And it's not stuff I'll use because I would have used it. So, and these are our new flowers, I'm just letting you know. They're new. Beautiful they are. So, um, what I've done, I've decided to do a couple of kits. Now, if you want this particular kit... Let me just see. Uh, I'm, I need to split them up. These are just oddments from the shop we had. I mean, that's says $3 on that. Well, £3, should I say. But the Halloween stuff, and it's coming up Halloween. Look, there's that. That one saying boo and whatever. You get a, a stick and all. So, well, just... They're just bits, so I've got that one. I'm going to make... I'll do three kits. We'll do three kits. Let's just have a look. These are just cutouts. Um, I don't know. There's some dolphins in there. Look, I'll put that with that and that with that. What there is, it, these are just free gifts to go with this kit. So I'm going to show you the kit. So that's three kits I've got now. So if anybody wants one of these kits, you'll get one pack and whatever's in there. So here we go. Let's just... I don't want to... I need to get rid of my things. <laughs> Let me just use a piece of felt. So you can see what's in the kit. Okay. So, our new flowers. Um, I don't... I think I've put them in the shop. I can't remember. I think. All the kits will have those. All the kits will have these. You're getting six of these. I love these. They look great on flowers, on the handmade flowers. Some broad tool um, trim, pleated trim. So you're going to get that. And there's a, a metre of it, I think. You'd all get some pink. I've not had time to fold it. I just gathered it up and thought, what can we put in a kit? So you've got a yard of that. And we've got a metre of the gorgeous trim. This is what, it's beautiful is this, and it makes gorgeous flowers. So you've got that. You're all going to get an applique. You'll get a metre of this trim, which is, again, gorgeous. Like that. Some gross grain ribbon. Don't forget if you want to make your tassel or a flower or a bow, there's plenty there to do that. I've put in a strip of this purple because I think it's pink and purple, this. This is the uh, silk ribbon and it is gorgeous, you know, to make that gathered flower. And then we've got oh, over a metre of this tiny one to make your small flowers or your edging. So you can gather this up. Uh, to make an edging Just get a little gather and then put it the fr frame a picture of some sort. It really does look nice um, You've all got a meter over a meter. I think this is yeah of this one Now one won't get this but I think there's only one piece left if not it'll be a different one It's kind of like a pinky purple braid You'd all get three discs. Great to alter. Oh, 
you'll all get a metre of this one. Again, makes great. Uh, gather it up for a frame, you know, to make an edge, or gather it up as a flower. And you get three or four different small flowers out of that one. Six small stick pins. I put one of each of these in with it being pink and purple. You'll get a goupier butterfly, set of leaves which you can cut up. I'm sure I put a white one in. Yes, I did. You'll also get one of those and one of those. They're great to alter or use as is. <coughs> and I oh yeah, three of the pink stamen, three of the purple because it's a pink and purple kit. There's one pink flower two-tone. I've put the mauve coloured one in and the rolled ribbons in pink. Again, one pink, one purple. Um, let's have a look. Now, I think I've put three, nine of these in. Just bear with me. Just bear with me. What have I done? Oh, small. <laughs> so there is another one somewhere. Here we are. Three light pink, three darker pink, and three cerise. So you're getting those. Now I've added in some of these. Where are we? I think, yeah. Our wooden discs which you can paint put um the ideas have loads of ideas on the um sorry on the website on our channel uh how to you can decoupage a picture on use the small trim to make a frill to go around the out you know if you glue it on the back and they are wooden or you can use them as is in a flower it's that you can do all sorts with them I've also added in one of these uh, trims. I absolutely loved them and I've put one of those in. You know, I think they're about 350 dollars on their own in the shop. Some stamen. Three of our flowers. And then you've got, I can get these out, an array of uh you get th oops three of the pearl there's another one in there somewhere there three pearl you get a pink cameo and then you're getting three of these buttons they're like flat backs in purple pinky purple three of the small <laughs> roses three of the flat roses flowers that you can decorate put us one of these little uh, these in so you can do that and a selection of uh, purple and pink acrylic roses and just some oddments as well and there's some little flowers you can use for your stick pins and these look great in a stick pin or on one should I say let me just show you. You know, so there's quite a lot you can do with it. And that's the kit. So there's loads there. And um, I'll be back shortly. Yeah, um, so, um, and that's, oh, for all of that, plus the freebies, that's £20. Thanks for watching Take Care and I'll speak to you all soon. Three available, mention it on this video. Bye-bye for now.